In this video, we're going to be going over a quick start guide on how to set up Ganium with TradingView custom signals. So first things first, we're going to go to trading bots. In this example, we're going to be using a paper account. The process is exactly the same for a live account. Select new, give our bot a useful name. So example, select DCA, we're going to select multiple. Now, ideally, I'd like to press USDT all. However, there is a maximum of 50 coins. So here's the point where you want to go ahead and make your coin selections. And to pick the best coins, I normally use the symbol searcher script on TradingView. So we're going to go ahead and do that quickly. So up to indicators, type emu moon. We're going to add the symbol searcher to our chart. And whilst we're at it, we're going to add the latest version of the advanced DCA tool. So now we've got a list of all the top performing coins that are volatile and split into groups. That way you can diversify your portfolio and avoid putting all your eggs in one basket. It's saying that one of the top performing coins is MND. We're just going to go back into Ganium and add these coins to our list. The goal is to have a nice diverse selection of coins, ones with positive correlation to BTC, ones with negative correlation to BTC, and ones with no correlation to BTC. You don't have to do this, you can spend a lot more time researching the coins that you're interested in. But for this example, I'm going to pick three coins that move independently of each other. Next, we're going to scroll down, we're going to be going long in this example, and we're going to be taking our profits in USDT. Base order size is going to be $20. We're going to be placing market orders, as they're a little bit quicker than limit orders. Our deal start condition is going to be changed to webhook. Max open deals, I'm just going to put to 100 and 10. We're going to leave these as standard. Risk reward is going to be kept as standard. Take profit is going to be done by webhook. We're going to close by market. Again, market orders are quicker than limit orders. Leave stop loss off as this will be controlled by trading view. DCA mode is going to be turned off, so we're not going to be using that. And that's it. We're going to add this new bot. And the bot has been saved so we're going to start the bot so now you'll notice that we've got this little area here with some web configurations we're going to click this button here to add it to our clipboard you'll notice that this is the one that says open deal for symbol example okay next we're going to go back over to trading view get rid of our symbol searcher because we don't need that and in the top left, we're going to type in our first coin. We want to make sure the data is provided by our chosen exchange. So in this example, we're using KuCoin Spot. Okay, so now that we've got our strategy plotted onto our chart, we can see our base orders, we can see our safety orders, we can see our exit orders. We can also see our average price paid in orange, and we can see our take profit in green. We can spend some time experimenting with different settings. We can also check our strategy tester to see how our settings perform over time. We also want to make sure that our base order in TradingView matches our base orders in Ganium. Next, we want to clear this field and paste in our message from Ganium. Hit OK. So you'll see here we have platform auto selected, Ganium multi pair, and you'll see that. Ready to live trade, go ahead and set your time to 1710 on the 6th for the 6th, 2024. So let's go ahead and do that. 1710 on the 6th for the 6th, 2024. So the chart will update. You'll see that we no longer have any base orders, safety orders, or exit orders. And the message at the bottom says, you have 14 minutes to create an alert. So up in the top right, we'll click alerts. We can click new alert, or we can press alt A. So we're going to press Alt A. Condition, we're going to change this to advanced DCA tool. Order fills and alert function calls. Expiration, we're going to set this to open-ended if possible. Otherwise, set it to the furthest date into the future. Alert, let's give this a useful name. MNDE Ganium example. And message, we're going to leave this as two curly open brackets, capital M for message, and two curly close brackets. Up in notifications, we're going to go ahead and enter this webhook URL address, and we're going to make sure that this is also ticked. 
I quite like to be notified in app and as pop-ups. I'm not too interested in the emails. So go ahead and press create. And now we've got a few minutes before our first alert comes through. Any alerts that do come through, they'll be entered into our alerts log. And here you'll be able to export as .csv files, which can be quite useful. And in the meantime, you can be setting up additional alerts for different coins that you want to trade. But for this example, I'm just going to show you the setup of one coin, and then we'll get into a few more in just a moment. Okay, and there's our alert. We can see that we've got information here, we've got a base order placed on our chart. It's populated our alerts log with some more information. If we go over to Ganium now, we can see it's placed an order on our chart. We've got a deal that's in progress, $20 base order. So now we're going to go ahead and automate the remaining coins. So we're going to go seam with KuCoin. It says, go ahead and adjust your time. So I'm just going to do 23. We've got a few minutes to create an alert. Go ahead and fill out the conditions and give your alert a useful name. Creates. The next coin is LQTY. Once again, we're just going to fill out the conditions, give our alert a useful name, and press create. We can see all three of our alerts in the top right, and in a few minutes time, we'll get to see our second and third alerts come through. Okay, and there's one of our alerts that's come through. We can see on the chart we've got our base order. A little more time has passed, and our third and final alert has come through. Over in Ganium, we can see our positions are open. If we click on each of these, we can see the entry positions, as well as more in-depth information about each of our trades. And that's it for today's video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers, bye.